Hello everyone and welcome to Technocraft. This is the second module of the course CCNA Security. In this module we will cover features of Cisco ASA 9x code. Before we start with this module, I would highly recommend you to go through the first module course introduction and firewall overview. As we move through this module here, we are going to talk about the hardware platform of the ASA. And we are also going to talk about the ASA V which is virtual appliance that we can load up and run the ASA features on top of the hypervisor. We are then going to introduce you to some of the features of that code base that run on the ASA hardware as well as the ASA V. We will be focusing on the 9x code and while we are quite a few revision into the code base what we are going to talk about here will be that really is kind of core and available in all of the versions. Of course there has been some addition added and you will want to check the release notes to bring yourself up to date on those. But we are also going to do a little bit of demonstration here. We will set up some basic management access on the ASA, get us connected onto it. We will put some addresses on our interfaces and then we will talk about how security levels work because you are definitely going to need to understand that a little feature there that element of security levels because it controls how traffic flow through, flow through the ASA a very important aspect so we are going to touch on those things now our customers game on network they of course have an ASA in their environment and that ASA is what gets them out to the internet. And we are going to be working on the ASA there. So that's where the focus of the course is going to be. Understanding how we are going to apply these different features of a firewall to a customer network. Just like game on networks here. So we'll start out by just talking about the platform itself. Now the ASA platform will just jump out to the Cisco website it comes in a number of flavors and I'm just going to scroll through the page here and give you some highlights of the hardware that we would run our ASA 9x code on so we start out at the very bottom of the 550x with the firepower services and we have a couple of different modules of that 5506 version we have 5506S with the firepower services, just kind of the standard firewall that also has that iron port security. What we now call firepower services embedded in that as a software module, we can get the 5506WX with the firepower services. And that has an integrated wireless access point. Then we have 5506H with firepower services and that is essentially the desktop firewall. The 550X but it have been ruggedized in other words we can use this in environments that are not very forgiving and that's all three different modules of our 5506 and these interfaces on the X and WX we are going to have 8 gig Ethernet interfaces and on 5506HX we are going to have 4 gigabit Ethernet interfaces. Now these firewalls are going to give you up to 300 MB per second of firewall processing and they offer multiple services in these firewall as well. So these would be something that you put in a small offices or a home offices. Now moving one up we have the ASA 5508X with the firepower services that will get me 500 MB per second that also get six Ethernet interfaces this one however is a one RU device so it will fit and take up one rack unit in our data center from there we jump to the 5512X now this is security plus with the firepower services. This is going to give 600 and 100 Mbps interfaces and it's also a 1RU device and then from there 
we go to the 5515x with the fire power services that will get me 600 MB per second. Let's just compare these a little bit here. So a couple of things that you will want to note a maximum throughput when you are using AVC that is the application visibility and control feature. You are going to get 500, 300 and 450. Now this is different than the stateful inspection throughput that's ad advertised. So where you have 500 MB stateful inspection throughput on the 5512 model, you are only going to get 300 MB per second when you are using the AVC. So that AVC feature going to look deeper into the packets if we are using IPS capabilities then you are going to drop down to 150 MB per second of throughput. VPN is going to give you a different throughput 200 MB per second and this is just 15512 again you can see how we are looking at these right next to each other so 250 versus 200 versus 175. Number of new connections that these devices can create per second 15,000, 10,000 and 10,000 across the board the maximum concurrent connection so connections at the same time and all with information in our state table. We are going to see 250,000 connections on the 15, 100,000 on the 12 and 8 and then 250 IPsec peers on the 15 and 8 and then on or on the 15 and the 12 and then on the 8 you are going to have 100 IPsec side to side peers. They do support VLANs, they do support cloud web security and you can just see kind of some of these statistics here. Now if we come down here a little further you will notice all these devices are SSD devices and they have the integrated 6 ports and so on but again you know which uh, if you wanted to have more details, you can go to the website and refer the data sheets and find out. We'll jump up here. We got the 16x and the 25x and the 45x. And you can see how again we are just getting a little more capabilities. Now, we are up to 8 gig Ethernet ports on the 16x with the firepower services. That's a kind of newer JZ and then we are going to have 25 and the 45 that have the 8 port and all three of these are one RU and we are ranging from 900 MB per second to just stateful inspection up to 1 gig 1.5 gig per second. This is in the whole product line. Let's jump up a little further. We are we got the 55 85x and then the 55 85. We have the 85x with the fire power services with an SSP 10 and the SSP is the module here and that has different capabilities than the SSP 20 in terms of processing so more memory that kind of thing so we have the 10 the 20 the 40 the 60 in the 5585 modules and so with the 10 we got 2 gig per second of firewall throughput and when we get all the way up to the 60, we got 20 gig per second. And then again, you can see we go from 2 gig per second with IPS to 3.5 all the way up to 10 gig per second with the 5585 and the SSP 60. But again, this is just the highlighting the different hardware appliances that we have available to us in the 5500X ASA platform with the Firepower services.